Hello everyone, this is Jorena here again and wanted to say a few things about this whole issue of image, what we try to display ourselves as. Now, most of us have heard about Black China, and I'm actually happy for her. I commend her on what she's doing right now. Now, she has stated and professes to be a believer. She says she's a Christian now, she's been born again, and she has decided to remove all of the implants that she had done, you know, the the uh, butt fillers and the, you know, she had breast augmentations, all that. She wants to get all that removed now. And uh, she made a statement, I believe, somewhere where she says she is, you know, finding herself and she's getting to know who she is and things like that. Now, what I want to say is this. Now, I am really hoping that Black China is a believer. I really do. And in, in fact, if she is a believer, we're going to see all type of fruit develop in her life. That, that's what we're going to see. And we're going to, so, we're going to be so happy to see that. Not that we're trying to uh, investigate to see if she's a believer or not, but actually it's beautiful when the fruit of the spirit is displayed in our lives. It's absolutely wonderful when Christ is seen in us. So I'm looking forward to seeing all that. Now, here's the thing what I want to talk about this whole image thing. Now, Black China has realized that all that that she did was no good. We have some more people that have made the step in this area, and that is the Kardashians. I believe they have also taken all those uh, fillers out and all that business. And I believe Kay Michelle, she's another one. Uh, she's a um, reality show um, celebrity, and she has also removed these things. Now, some of these people, some of the reasons that they provided was that it wasn't good for their health, uh, that, you know, the way that their body structure was, they just wasn't, wasn't supposed to have all that. Now, here's the thing here, here, I want to say, and I said this at the beginning of the year on another video, I really want to encourage us to be motivated by God alone. Now, listen, I'm not trying to say what anybody is doing as far as their heart. Okay. Cause I don't know people's hearts, but I just want to say this. We don't want to just make decisions because maybe the result was no good for us. And we do that a lot. All of us do that. We've done it at some point where the reason why we don't do certain things is because of the result. Okay. But at the very beginning of something, the reason why you did it was because there was an expected result. All right. And you didn't get that. So now you change your mind about it. This is what I want to encourage all of us to do that. We would keep the word of God as our final authority and as our guide as to how we make decisions and do things in the world that we live in in society we have the music world the entertainment world and they'll tell you what you should be doing and society will tell you this is beautiful and that's beautiful okay but we need to look into the word of god to see what is actually beautiful the lord says that a meek and quiet spirit is precious in his sight that is what he says is beautiful. And what did he say about beauty in the book of Proverbs? He said that beauty is fading, it's fleeting, okay? But a woman that fears the Lord, that's the woman that will be praised. So I want to encourage all of us, and not only just us women, but men too, stop trying to put on this image, you know, so that way you're approved by, where you think you're approved by a society or you're accepted by society. Remember, society the entertainment world is the one who told us women that you need to have big butts you need to have big breasts hips and all that and that's how you're beautiful and you're accepted and that was a lie so let's stop being influenced by this world okay now the changes that black china is doing right now you know what if we would just follow the word of god we would already do that you do you see what I mean? We, we would already be on that. If we would just look into the word of God and see what does thus saith the Lord. All right. So I just wanted to do this little short video to say, let us stop trying to keep up with society. Let us stop trying to keep up with the culture. Okay. Trying to be accepted by a fallen world, but let us look into the word of God and see what does he say? What is it that he requires? What, what is his definition of beauty? What is his definition of a woman, of a man? All right. And listen, you know, we look at these people that get all these surgeries and stuff and we, you know, have our little statements about them, but guess what? 
everybody tries to put on an image at some point in their lives. And it's not just us women. I know we, we get a lot of flack us women because we're the ones who wear makeup. We do this, we do that. But guess what? Men too. They try to put on an image as well. Because remember, the type of clothes you wear, the, tra- the type of swag you may, uh, per- uh, the persona of a swag that you may display, all of that is to modify or enlighten your image, all right? But who are you actually? So without the designer clothes, without the makeup, without the, the hairdo, okay? Without the um, swag you're displaying, who are you? All right. That's the question. Who are you? And the only thing that is beautiful is those of us that Christ shines through us. That is what's absolutely beautiful. Okay. So I just want to encourage all of us, stop trying to take on the image. All right. Stop doing that and acknowledge that we are all image bearers. And the one that created us, created us for his glory. And we need to look into the scriptures and see what is it that the Lord wants me to be, all right? How does he want me to display myself? How does he want me to present myself in this world? That is the question that we need to ask ourselves, okay? All right. So hopefully this was encouraging to you. I just want to encourage all of us to find our image, you see, as image bearers. All right. Find our image and what the Lord has called us to be, not what the world says we should be. All right, guys. Now, remember, this is what I always say. Continue. Continue in him. In Christ alone. God bless.